Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, we're talking some boxing. So, this is a reply to 68 Sports TV, uh, aka 68 Scrapbook, aka Ode to Wisdom. Um, concerning him saying that Canelo is not the face of boxing. This is what Floyd Mayweather had to say about that when asked that question. talking about Canelo's the new face of boxing and they kind of trying to phase you out like no it's, it's true it's true I mean I'm not I'm not like that you know um if he's the new face of boxing that's cool but I'm pretty sure that we got some guys that's uh this junior middleweight that have to go up what do you think when they said that he's improved since he, since he got that school lesson that you gave him that they say he's improved his game who Canelo I'm not here to bash Canelo. I'm not here to talk bad about Canelo. Canelo, go out, he's a hell of a fighter, man. He's a, he's a very good fighter. And he can go out there and do what he's supposed to do. And he, had, he, had, he, got, a, he got Mexico behind him. That's it. Okay, I'll stop right there. You guys can always watch this video. This came out in 2016. Alright. See... 68 is a Floyd Mayweather Jr. fan. I know that's without a doubt. His argument was that Floyd is a hell of a promoter. This is what he was trying to pitch, and he was pitching that Floyd is the guy that coined the face of boxing. He, reg he might have popularized it, but it's been around forever. Oscar De La Hoya was the face of boxing at a certain point in time as well, the golden boy. Sugar Ray Leonard was the face of boxing at a certain point in time. The face of boxing is the guy who... He got control over the sport of boxing. He represents boxing. And the people in the industry of boxing recognize him. That's all it means. And uh, in 2016, Floyd acknowledged that Canelo is that dude now. Floyd being out of the sport. Retired. So anytime Floyd comes back, there's a lot of hoopla for him. But you got to understand Floyd built that up over time. Like for instance, 68 says, wherever Floyd goes in the world, people recognize him. Yeah, but when he just beat Oscar De La Hoya, it wasn't exactly that that, that was the case. you know. But he was the face of boxing because what he inherited not only was the currency and money, and money talks, bullshit walks, but he also had favor with sanctioning bodies, other promoters, the Writers Association of America. It doesn't mean that people didn't like him. A lot of hate towards Floyd Mayweather after that, a lot of criticism, a lot of people denying that he was the best. Um, and up to this day, when he says, you know, certain things, people deny that. You're going to always have that element when you become that big in the sport of boxing, that dominant in the sport of boxing, that controlling in the sport of boxing. When I say dominant, I'm talking from the business end all the way around to the actual fights in the ring, okay? And Oscar De La Hoya was not the most dominant boxer inside of the ring, meaning he had some very close fights with a lot of with with certain fighters, but he won. You know, I Corte, Perno Whitaker, Tito Trinidad, a number of fights where they were close. Shane Mosley and Canelo Alvarez is the same sort of thing. And Floyd Mayweather, he had fewer closer fights. He was very very dominant as a boxer. But the face of boxing just simply means the guy that stands out amongst all the other boxers in the face of it. You know, Anthony Joshua was building towards that, but he didn't have no near, near, near Canelo's pay-per-view numbers. When Canelo was on HBO, he was the highest grossing pay-per-view star after Floyd left the game. Not even Pacquiao touched his numbers. And uh, the one last point I want to make that 68 was talking about, he was saying that Manny Pacquiao should be pound for pound number one in the world. I believe that would have been the case before the Kovalov fight. I also agreed with that. I thought Pacquiao should have been the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. But after Canelo beat Kovalov and the kind of Kovalov I saw go into the ring, I think that Canelo take that one number one spot for the moment. And then we have some up and coming fighters who, like I said before, will surpass Canelo, will surpass Floyd. We're seeing all this potential great, this is a great time to be in the world. We just saw Naomi in you, you know, show lots of heart and strength and skill against Nunito Dunier. You know, we have all these 
young lions coming up like Javante Davis. We have Devin Haney. We have Miguel Berchelt. We have Tevin Farmer. We have um, Leo Santa Cruz, Ray Russell Jr. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of superstars coming up. Josh Taylor. And the list just goes on and on and on of these young hungry lions vying for that top spot. But at the present time, there's a separation between them and Canelo. Separation between them and Pacquiao. Those two are just separated from everyone else based on they have had a lot more testing. They have had a lot of more top-level fights. And they've generally come out on top most of the time. So that's why these guys are the face of boxing. It's not a mythical thing. I didn't hear 68's argument for um, how it's mythical. You know, he, he, he said, he alluded to the fact that Floyd was using it as a promotional strategy, but he never, it was never mythical. I never saw the face of boxing as a mythical thing. It has been around for, for a while. And generally, the people in the industry accept this as fact. Now, they, the people in the industry don't always agree on Canelo being pound for pound number one fighter, but the one thing they agree on is he's the cash cow of boxing right now, and he definitely is the face of boxing. And it doesn't have to do with just because he has a Mexican following. Uh, just to give you a good perspective on it, Anthony Joshua thinks that Canelo Alvarez, who is it, one of the top British fighters, he thinks Canelo Alvarez is the best boxer on the planet, and he also thinks he's the face of boxing. Then you have women fighters like Carissa Shields who think so. Hannah Gabriels differs. She does not think that he's pound for pound number one. Neither does she think that Clarissa Shields is pound for pound number one. But in so doing that, she's kind of acknowledging that they are. Because she, she accepts everybody else as pound for pound number one except for those two. Which just tells you that she has her thing against them. Um, so you find the exceptions to the rule. Juan Manuel Marquez, a couple other people out there who do not agree, and they're free to express their opinion. I know 68 Sports also doesn't agree that Canelo is pound for pound number one in the world, but his arguments are, to my, in my opinion, your arguments are still, um, I find them trivial to some degree because they don't follow the facts. They don't follow, um, shall I say, they don't follow what precedent has been there before, and that's the problem. I'm not saying that you're right or you're wrong in thinking that certain things that these fighters do are wrong or right. My argument is simply that there's precedent for certain things. And you can't just change precedent because this fighter doesn't suit your liking. So that's all I have to say about um, that. I don't know why 68 is so determined to take away accolades and respect from certain fighters. Just because he doesn't like them. You, you'd be having like a typical... Uh, boxing fan who's disgruntled with certain things and the very things that you're praising Floyd Mayweather for the very things that you said you liked Floyd Mayweather for you know and stood behind him for you're now turning around and doing the opposite which is hypocritical <laughs> I'm just saying stay consistent with your energy that's all I'm saying keep the energy the same acknowledge even if you ain't like a fighter acknowledge certain things there's one thing about me you'll notice I actually acknowledge the triple G He's an elite fighter. I also acknowledge that Triple G, and I don't like Triple G. I told you all that. That he is one of the top tier fighters in the world. I think he's overhyped, but other than that, he is top tier. No doubt about that. You know. And I also um, acknowledge that a lot of his opponents are good opponents. You know, B-level, C-level opponents he's faced in his career. It's not like he faced scrubs coming off of, you know, you know just journeymen or shit like that. Not necessarily. All right, peoples, I'm out of here. I'm what you need. For the other people out there, I just want you guys to check out the other videos that I have. If you feel like uh, donating to my channel, feel free to donate, share, subscribe, to donate via Western Union on MoneyGram. We out. Peace.